Donald Trump tonight grabbing the harness of the MAGA base. I'm thrilled to be back at CPAC. The type of Republican activist he's relying on to catapult him back into the White House. We're going to see this battle through to ultimate victory. We're going to make America great again. CPAC, the annual conservative gathering, a wild scene of Republican enthusiasts and a crowd overwhelmingly supportive of Trump's 2024 bid. Donald Trump. I'm a MAGA guy through and through. There's nobody stopping him. What are people coming to buy? Uh, it's like 30 to 1 Trump over DeSantis. An arena most other possible Republican contenders opted to avoid, except for Nikki Haley, the only major declared challenger to Trump. If you're tired of losing, put your trust in a new generation. Haley heckled by several on her way out. A straw poll taken at CPAC shows attendees favoring Trump over Florida Governor Ron DeSantis by more than 40 points. DeSantis did not attend CPAC and is yet to announce a presidential run. Why should he not be the presidential candidate for Republicans? Well, he can be if he wants to be. Why should the folks not turn to him if he makes the case of being a new well, generation? I, I of think leaders? I've done something that nobody else has been able to do. The conference here filled with Trump allies, including former Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro. Bolsonaro made unsubstantiated claims of a stolen election in his home country, his supporters attacking the Capitol in January. He gave us his first on-camera interview with a U.S. TV outlet since losing his re-election bid. Would you urge uh, others around the world to resist the election denialism that we have seen play out in America and Brazil? What we want is transparency, he said, and we want to respect the will of the people.